Texas Governor Greg Abbott and a top Border Patrol official are taking President Biden to task as migrants stream across the border and into communities throughout the nation. It must end, it must end immediately, and the way to end it is by the Biden administration stepping up and finally enforcing the immigration laws of the United States of America. Why are we here? What caused this? The simple answer is catch and release. And joining me now, the former director of ICE's Buffalo Field Office, Tom Feely. And Tom, you recently retired um, from that position. Can you tell me what is exactly going on right now? Well, good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, so we're doing catch and release at a whole new game right now. What's occurring on the border is the uh, illegal aliens coming across the border in CVP custody. At that time, they're being put on ICE air flights run by ERO. And then ERO is transporting them all over the United States to different detention facilities where you would hope they were being detained, but that's not the case either. They're being shipped to those locations and then released so they're not being released from the border. So, okay, so why are they just being released then from those facilities once they're put on those ERO flights, as you mentioned? Why aren't they being detained? Well, because uh, a lot of them don't have any criminal background, their only crime is entering the country illegally, which for me is, is a big deal, but for other people it is not. And under the Biden administration, we're not allowed to hold those people in custody. We have to release them. Okay, so they're coming into the border, coming across the border into the United States. They're being put on these planes. They're being sent into other communities, as you're saying, to other field offices in which they're being released from there. Does this have anything to do with the reason why you retired? It does. You know, a uh, 25 year law enforcement professional, I was the highest rank you can be in the federal government without being a political appointee. I'm a Marine, a blue collar kid. And, um, you know, if the executive branch isn't going to choose to enforce the laws passed by Congress, that's just something I can't be part of. I can't go to work with the good men and women of ERO and look them in the lie or eye rather and tell them lies. That's just not my personality. And I didn't want to be part of that. Did you ever try and speak up and, and say that you weren't comfortable with what was going on and that you were thinking about retiring as a result? Um, no, in this administration, if uh, if you speak up, you're going to be the nail. And uh, there's 24 of me across the country, field office directors. A lot of them are not eligible to retire, so they have to be, they, you know, they have to do what they're told, or they'll be moved to D.C. or relocated to another area. Obviously, uprooting their family, so you know they're doing the best they can. They're trying to hold the line, but. Every American should be really concerned that the border is wide open and we're shipping COVID positive detainees all over the United States. Well, wow. um, here's ICE's statement to Fox News. This reads, quote, over the past several weeks, ICE has released numerous immigrants who transferred from the border after determining they could safely be released into the community under alternate forms of supervision. CBP says the border is not open and CBP is still operating under Center for Disease Control and Prevention guidelines for the COVID-19 pandemic. We've got about 30 seconds left. They say the border's not open. You say? Uh, I say they're full of crap. Um, if you look at the videos yesterday with the uh, Border Patrol agents on their horses, you can literally see hundreds and thousands of illegal aliens crossing the border. And some of those, quite frankly, if you look at the video, they have to go boxes from the other side of the border where food trucks are in Mexico feeding them. So we are so wide open and it's so dangerous that they can literally cross the border get lunch and walk back into the United States, blowing off our Border Patrol agents and entering the country illegally again. We've got about 10 seconds real quick. This video that we're watching, is that what you're talking about with the horse with them on horseback? A lot of people criticize saying they're using whips. Other people are saying they're not. What are they? Are they the reins? Are they long reins? You know, I ride horses, too, and they're reins and they're, they're just doing their job. And God bless them for uh, you know being out there every morning and trying to trying to protect us all. Absolutely. OK, Tom Feely, thank you so much. Have a good day, sir. Tom. Thank you for having me.